on, man. Edison, this Edison. is where it all began. This is the holy grail in New Jersey of Edison's uh, pioneering efforts. And it's incredible to record on the third floor. Man. This is where he developed the uh, wax records and experimented. This is magic. Magic. Let's do it. well-kept parlor room in West Orange. Not much has changed since the days when Thomas Edison developed the first phonograph some 135 years ago. This is one of the locations where recording music began. This was the place where, this was Edison's studio in the early years, 1888, 1889, when they were first really seriously exploring the potential of recorded music. Um, so the, the experiments that happened in this very room, uh, right when the lab opened, were uh, to try to get the absolute best sounding recordings of music as possible. Before there were iPods or CDs or cassette tapes, there were wax cylinders. Recording took nothing more than cranking up a spring motor and using the power of sound to cut tiny grooves in wax. Looking at a 100-year-old phonograph, it really, it just strips away all the complications that have been added to what is audio recording in the last 100 years, down to just the simplest essence of what's going on. If I had a, a trombone and I were playing my trombone, what's happening is I'm vibrating the air molecules in the room. And so some of those air molecules get funneled down the horn, they bounce around. And then at the end of the horn is what Edison called a diaphragm. Uh, it's kind of like a little drum head. As the air funnels down the horn, the diaphragm starts vibrating very quickly up and down. That moves the knife up and down into the record. So the knife cuts the groove. It's simpler than you might imagine. Jerry Fabrice has become one of the foremost wax cylinder recording engineers in the country. And like Edison in his day, he'll often invite local musicians to record on the old equipment. For jazz musician Bob Farrell, it's the fulfillment of a dream he's had since he first set eyes on a phonograph at this museum in the fifth grade. Well, I've recorded in New York at the record plant and the power station and all these great places, but today this is an extremely historic uh, moment for me to play and record in Edison's original experimental phonograph developmental uh, laboratory room. This is a, I'm losing it. <laughs> Absolutely. Bob Farrell. Vinnie Kutro, live at the Edison Laboratories, Ampton Duets. As the stylus cuts into the wax, it shaves off thin layers that Jerry blows off so they won't damage the recording. After the recording is complete, Bob and the band listen to their music in the distinct sounds of a wax recording. Great. <laughs> <laughs> there's really no other way to replicate that sound. For me, there's something kind of haunting about it. If it makes you sound 100 years old instantly, you know, it makes you really sound old instantly, and that's the gift. Hearing that come out of there and hearing that process is just fantastic. I love it. To come up in this room, this was the bomb. <laughs>